Okay, here we are. I've just thrown all my wood on the floor, <laughs> which is not the best. And there it is. First iron pickaxe. Super cool. And let's have a bucket as well. And let's have some shears so we can go out and shear all of these sheep. I know I don't have to make shears in a crafting table. There you go. I need to make myself an axe as well. So I've got some stone. Let's make another stone axe. I'm not going to be using an axe a huge amount. So that will be okay, and I should probably take those out of the wall. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> I was thinking I'm going to die. How about we uh, close out the wall? But um, let's let's get all of this wool because, like I said, I'm super excited to make a banner, and I wanted to hold off for a while, but I want to have all the wool in reserve just in case. I actually want to. Um, I haven't shown you my skin yet. That's the other thing I have to do. This is my skin. Um, let's turn off the GV so you get a better idea. That is me. That is absolutely me. Um, that is a jumper that I really like. That is my beard and hair. And um, that's even like the last pair of shoes that I owned that is not my current pair of shoes. Oh, and I don't want to broadcast through Twitch, but thank you for asking. Lovely. Let's have that back and let's get back to shearing these sheep. Yeah, like I wanted to go for a skin that was basically me because I don't want... I know a lot of people have like their favorite kind of video game characters and that kind of stuff. And all of those look really cool. And some people have sort of more fantastical stuff that they've invented themselves. But I just wanted something that was like bare bones me because that's pretty much what you're getting with this. This is how I play Minecraft. And I'm really, really happy with how it came out. I think it's great. And I think the um, all the stuff you can do with 1.8 with like overlays for skins and stuff looks really neat as well. I haven't done anything super fancy with that. I just kind of texturized the hair a little bit and that kind of stuff. But... It just looks looks super cool, and it might change in future, you never know. But anyway, <laughs> the reason I started getting onto that from banners is that one of the uh, banner designs I have in mind is basically looks like the sleeve of the jumper. Like it looks kind of like, you know, dark blue with light blue and white stripes on it. And I think it looks really neat when I put everything together. Um, so I'm going to try and gather as many resources as I can for that so I can really give my homes like a, a kind of a theme running around, like the... The banner can be outside and you'll just know this is one of my houses. But who else is this going to be? This is a single player like server right now. This is a single player quest. And who knows if anyone else will end up joining us for the ride in future. I kind of hope that I'll be able to like maybe show a couple of my friends around. But yeah, we don't really know. We don't know right now. Um, cool. These sheep are giving us tons and tons of wool. We've got nearly a full stack already. Looks like that might be a cave. But this is just a really neat, like, mountain area right now. Like, what elevation are we at? We're at 77, which isn't actually that high, I guess. But there's tons of sheep. The spruce forest all feels, like, very alpine, I guess, right now. And I'm really excited to see what lies beyond this. But for now, let's fill up our bucket of water. I did make that bucket for a reason. Um, cool. So we've got water. We can make ourselves an infinite water source. Maybe get a bit of farming done. I like the idea of having, like, an alpine farm. Um, I know that's... Oh my goodness, there's a rabbit. There's a little cream rabbit. Are there any more rabbits around here? There's more. Oh wow. Like, yeah, obviously rabbits not in the console version of the game yet, so not something I've had a great deal of experience with. And look at that, it looks so cute. They look like little Lego rabbits or something. Like, you know, those kind of Lego animals they have. Like, it just looks just like one of those. It's straight out of some kind of like Lego set or something. And I guess obviously Minecraft is like Lego for adults, which is kind of how I've heard it described a couple of times, and I, I completely agree. Like, I think it's it's superb. And, and to be fair, Lego is for adults. Like, I know a ton of people who still collect, like, Lego mini figurines and stuff off the front of newspapers when they give them away here in the UK. And, yeah, if you couldn't tell from my, my accent, I am British. <laughs> um, I think that was probably the most obvious thing about these videos. They thought, oh, great, another British guy who plays Minecraft. Yeah, go back and watch the Ozcast. Um, right, let's let's stick some torches at the front here. I think that's what this needs. Um, we've obviously got one down here, which you can probably take away now. Yeah, I feel like this needs proper lighting to look like a proper alpine log cabin. And I feel better about having just torches as the lighting if it looks like a kind of a log cabin, you know? I think we'll probably put in some stairs. This isn't probably going to be like a hugely building heavy series. Like, I like building. I'll probably do a lot of it off camera if I can, just so... I'm not boring you guys with me kind of jumping around going, hmm, how should this look? I'm just going to have to do something real quick. This is just for my purposes only. This is not out of look at it. It's a block of coal. <laughs> I have this to-do list of stuff that I can't do 
in the console version of Minecraft and making a block of coal for some reason is on that list. It's just one of those little things that you get so much coal later in the game and you just don't have the, the storage. You, I, I've got chests and chests on my some of my console games of coal and I just love the fact that you can make it into blocks. The same with redstone. Like I get so much redstone and I don't work a great deal with redstone. I've done some stuff, but really, really basic stuff. And as such, I just end up with an absolute hoard of the stuff and no way of storing it in a compact way. But blocks of redstone also look really nice, which is kind of cool. And I almost want to expand the grass in this area just so I don't feel so bad for the sheep. They're all just standing around like, you can imagine their legs quaking because they're cold because I've shaved all their fur off. Is it not fur, wool? What am I talking about? Sheep don't have fur. That is one of the problems with me talking like this at length is I'm gonna lose focus very, very quickly. So it looks like we've got some oak trees and some spruce around here. Spruce and oak are all very well, but I really wanna find like a beautiful roofed forest with giant mushrooms and dark oak wood. That is one of the things that I would absolutely love to do this early on in the game, but obviously we're not gonna to have to do that quite yet, which is, I guess, fine. We can put some of this wool away and get cracking on some more stuff. I'm gonna turn all the spruce I can into planks for now. Um, yeah, we might renovate the log cabin at some point, but for now it's looking all right. I think it's looking pretty cool. Um, gonna go caving. That is something I, I should probably save that for the, the next episode, to be fair. Like, I've done a bunch of sheep shearing and you need to start a new episode with, right, we're going caving. And I think that's probably what I'll have to do. Um, going to prepare for caving in this episode that's what we'll do we'll prepare for caving so the first thing we're going to have to do is make a ton of torches and that is going to set us up for the caving adventures of the next episode so yeah stay tuned guys um anything else we need to do we need to get more food we've got this mutton we'll have to cook up the mutton i feel really bad for cooking sheep even though like obviously it's there for a reason and this is a video game sheep are going to respawn and i'm harvesting all of their wool so their little knees are quaking outside in the cold is this a cold biome? I imagine it is probably meant to be a cold biome, isn't it? But yeah, I will need supplies for this this trip down here. And um, yeah, I think mutton is probably gonna have to be the meal of choice for now. What else do we need in terms of tools? Um, I really want some more iron, so we might have to come up and make some more iron armor in a bit, um, just to make sure that we don't completely die uh, further down there, because I know there's gonna be a bunch of monsters we'll run into and we'll get overwhelmed super quickly. I don't know if it's a difficulty thing that makes zombies like call each other or if that's just something that happens in PC Minecraft now that zombies will like swarm you, but that doesn't happen so much in Xbox, so I am not looking forward to being completely overrun by zombies at some point. We should do something with these eggs. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what to do right now. I've also got a bit of string that I'm not doing anything with that's gonna have to go in there. I'll, I'll either need more string or I'll just need to put that away. The sun is going down, okay. Um, right, let's go on a quick caving run just to see if we can get some more iron, we can make some proper armor. And let's also see if our home can be a quick bolt hole if we run into any trouble. That'd be a super great idea. Um, right, let's use up the last of our stone pickaxe coming down here. Was this the way we went? I'm pretty sure it was. Like, even though <laughs> I say I've got like a navigation system worked out for these torches and stuff, I've gone completely the wrong way, which is fine, which is fine. We're going to make a lot of mistakes early on. And this is a bit of more of a cave system, I think, than it initially appears. Oh, it was right down here, wasn't it? Of course, it's the, it's the giant gaping hole with all the interesting stuff down it that we actually want to visit. Where was that skeleton's little sniping tunnel? That was it, right. Okay, so there's obviously something more interesting going on down here. So let's light this up. Oh, there is a friend of ours. He's getting revenge. Oh, and he's backed up by a skeleton. Can we get a music disc this early? I'm not gonna trust in that. Uh, the skeleton's already shooting me, so I'm gonna back up a little bit, see if I can guide them into here. Fantastic, okay, and the creeper doesn't seem to have noticed me, which is nice. I'm more than happy with that for now. Stop shooting me. Okay, right. Good, good. Creeper's here. Creeper spotted me. Creeper's going to explode. Wonderful. That lagged. That lagged and nearly killed me. Oh, my word. And there are more of them. Oh, God. I can hear him behind me. <laughs> Run away. Oh, no. Okay, right. And there's one down there. Fantastic. The creepers are just coming right at me today, which is a worry. And I'm going to have to find some place to use as 
a temporary hidey hole while I recover some of my health. I really hope something doesn't shoot me from the surface. That's... Okay, I think I can breathe now. Yeah, that was very ill-advised. I don't know why I even considered this as an option. How about we find some iron some other place? <laughs> no, we're going to have to go back down there in a minute. But uh, yeah, the, the creeper kind of got the better of us there. I'm, I'm slightly ashamed by that. After my bravado from earlier, I was like, yeah, we'll take on this creeper, no problem. Yep, immediately get slaughtered by the next creeper I find. Fantastic. Okay, let's retreat to the safety of our log cabin. Let's watch the zombies from the safety of our glass. Wonderful. Let's sleep for the night. Let's sleep for the night and call it an episode there, and we will come back and do some caving.